Today I'm going to show you how to create documents in Google Drive and keep them organized within Google Drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Google Drive and I'm going to create a new Google Doc. So I click on the new button and I've got some options to create a new Google Doc, Sheets, Slides. If you click on more, you get more options like creating a Google Form or Google Drawings. These are all great applications that you can try out later. But I'm in, under Google Docs, you also have two options for creating a blank document or to create one from a template. I'm going to create a blank one. And I always recommend naming it right off the bat. So if you click where it says Untitled Document, I'm going to call this SCO Document 1. And I press Enter, and now I've created the Google Document. I'm going to close that. And you can see, if I go under Recent, I've got this new document that I've just created. The next thing I'm going to do is create two folders. So I'm going to click on the New button, and I'm going to go under Folder. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it SCO Folder 1. I'm going to repeat that and create it SCO Folder 2. So now I've got a new Google document and a uh, two new folders. And if I search on SCO, I will find them. There's my two folders. There's the, my document. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to manage these documents within these folders. It's helpful to color code the folders so you can uh, visually track one folder over the other. So I'm going to right click on my folder two. And I'm going to go under Change Color, and let's make that red. And I'm going to go to my folder 1, and I'm going to change color and make that green. And um, I'm going to make a copy of this document right within Google Drive. So if you right-click on it, and you choose Make a Copy, it will make a copy of it called Copy of. So if I redo my search. All right, so there's my copy of document. And if I want to, I can drag these to the folders. I can also um, click on this side triangle, and I can reveal the folder that, that I've got open. I've got a lot of them. And I'm going to go down to my SCOE folder. I'm going to take document one, and I'm going to drag it into folder one. I'm going to take the second one and put it in folder two. I'm also going to open up folder one, and I'm going to create another folder within that folder. You can also do that by right-clicking inside the folder. So I'm going, to, I'm going to call this SCOE subfolder. If these had a different purpose, you'd have better names. And if I right click on this first document and I make a copy, it makes a copy in that folder, which I really like. Otherwise it creates it in Google Drive um, at the top level. So I'm gonna take the, this copy and I'm gonna put, put it in the subfolder. And so you can see if I go to that folder, here's my subfolder, here's the folder above it, and then I'm back to Google Drive. There are two ways to add a file from your computer into one of these folders in Google Drive. One is to go to the new menu and choose File Upload. And then the file that you want, you can click on and hit Open and it will upload it to your Google Drive in that folder that you're in. So I suggest you go to the, the uh, folder first. The other way, I'm going to delete this so I can repeat that. I'm going to remove that. And now I'm going, there's another way that a student taught me, and that's to actually drag and drop it from the desktop. So I'm going to slide my window over 
and you can see that here's this uh, image file. And I'm going to drag that into the folder. And just like before, it gets uploaded. And when it's done, it says it's done. And there's the file. The last thing I want to do today is show you how to take something that's been shared with you and add it to your uh, Google Drive. So if I collapse this on my drive, you can see here are the items that are shared with me. If I want to take this file and I want to add it in Google Drive, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose add to my drive. And now that file will be available in your MyDrive.